Hello, I'm Rabbi Yehuda Levin, a spokesperson for the Rabbinical Alliance of America, consisting of over 850 rabbis. Although a rabbinical organization cannot endorse a candidate, I can tell you that many rabbis in our organization and many Orthodox Jews that they become familiar with Sim Councilman Simcha Felder's record are opposing at this time his, as, as individual citizens, his run for higher office as city, New York City controller. The reason that I am opposing Simcha Felder is because he is representing the most densely populated Orthodox district not only in America but throughout the world with the exclusion of B'nai Brak and Yerushalayim and Jerusalem. Our Torah, the homosexual agenda is antithetical to our Torah community. In the last year, Simcha Felder has helped promote the open lesbian and a primary homosexual activist in the city of New York, the councilwoman of Greenwich Village, Christina Quinn. Through his activities, it was reported in the newspaper, Miss Quinn was pushed into the second highest office in the city of New York, the powerful speakership of the city council. At every turn, Simcha Felder attempts to kosher Christine Quinn by bringing her, by injecting and insinuating her into the Orthodox Jewish community, whether it's on radio programs, in personal appearances with her, etc. But the coup de grace was when Mr. Felder decided to bring her to the epicenter of holiness in the Jewish community, the Beth Jacob Beis Yaakov School for Girls in Borough Park, where Ms. Quinn was introduced to the students as a role model. This is really offensive and wouldn't be tolerated in many other communities, yet when people complain to Mr. Felder, he belittles them on the radio pr program where they call him, thus proving that he is too immature uh, not only to be a city councilman, but certainly to seek higher office. Un um, until Mr. Felder understands a simple commentary Rashi on our Torah, which states that Amalek, the age-old enemy of God and the Jewish people, as it states in Shemos Exodus, Amalek, the commentary Rashi explains, is homosexuality and the homosexual agenda. Until Mr. Felder understands that just like he wouldn't dream of befriending an anti-Semite in the city council and promote an active anti-Semite, that the homosexual ag agenda is offensive not only to Jews but to God himself, until he understands the severity of his infractions, he doesn't deserve to be a, uh, a, a city controller and he will be a constant source of embarrassment to, to us and compromise. Mr. Felder has to understand that there's a spiritual aspect to this thing and that we the community, God forbid, can suffer spiritually because our quote-unquote representative, an Orthodox Jew, is doing these kinds of terrible things and thus de facto uh, promoting a homosexual agenda. Simcha Felder must be opposed actively. We urge Jews not to fund him, not to support him, and to voice their disapproval until he repents, until he does tshuva. And uh, if not, he should not be supported for further political office. We deserve better.